Hey, what's up, gang? What's up, YouTube? This your girl, Comedic Medium Prophetess, and I'm back with another video. If you're new to my channel, and you're number 11 on the clock, 12. If you're new to my channel, I am a pathetic tarot reader. I do not read cards based off the meanings. 11, 11 could be very significant, 12, 12, okay? Or 10, 10. I'm hearing 11, 11, 12, 12, and 10, 10. I'm hearing something about divine timing, all right? Somebody could have an infant. Somebody could have a newborn child, or they're going to. I keep hearing that. I keep hearing that song. I don't want to wait for our lives to be over. All right. All right. That might not have nothing to do with the reading I'm about to do. That's just what I'm hearing. Okay. But yeah, if you, excuse me, somebody could be in their late forties, early fifties. Somebody could be not elderly, but old school or something like that. Somebody could have an old soul as well. 104. When I like this Palo Santo, I start getting heavy downloads. Anyhow, like I said, you guys, y'all know the intro for my returning subscribers. But for my new subscribers, I'm a prophetic tarot reader. Don't read cards based off the meanings. Read cards based off what spirit tells me, the holy angels and the divine. Angel number 117 on the clock. I also read out and even angel numbers. I'm also a psychic medium. I'm able to connect with those who have crossed over. All right. So, get some of that we finna do something uh we finna do something different here i'm finna do like a slow reading i really don't know what deck i'm gonna use and what i call a slow reading it's like when i first started my youtube channel i used to read like this not not that i didn't know how to read fast i just i don't know i was just kind of like a beginner and i used to just eat read one card at a time and analyze the cards so that's basically what i'm finna do Ooh, ten of pentacles Ooh, in the nine of pentacles. Ooh, oh my goodness. I don't know if I want to read these cards though. I really don't. <laughs> this this some good news in this shit in this card. Okay, but anyways, y'all. Uh yeah, let's go ahead and pray. Okay, let's pray first. Y'all know I pray first. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Archangel Michael, Archangel Raziel, Archangel Raphael, Archangel Gabriel, Archangel Metatron. I ask you to sing your greatest white light. And please give me clear and precise messages. Protect my crown chakra. Protect my throat chakra. Protect my heart chakra. Protect me from any harm or entity that does not want me to speak. That does not want me to give messages out. Thank you, Holy Spirit, Holy Angel. Somebody is very anointed. I'm going to tell you that. Somebody could have went to church, day, church today. Somebody could sing in the choir. Okay, somebody is manifesting a new life after some after some type of ending with the death card here, moon card here. Somebody is working behind the scenes to do something. Okay, I feel like somebody has went through some type of death, some type of transformation behind the scenes. Okay, and now they're ready to celebrate. Now they're ready to step out with the three of three of cups here. Somebody is definitely about to be set up celebrating. I'm here with the love of their life very quickly, very fast. Eight of wands here. Something is going to happen very quickly, very fast. I keep hearing something about Christmas. I keep hearing Santa Claus is coming to town. I'm hearing he knows when you're awake or knows when you're sleeping. I don't know the word, y'all. Five of swords here somebody is up in their head but i'm hearing somebody is up in their head for good reasons about this ace of pinnacle page of page of um page of wands here somebody is very cheerful very carefree carefree very childlike ten of cups here yeah king of swords here um <clears throat> ten of swords here yeah six of swords here yeah, Page of Swords here. Queen of Cups here. This is beautiful. This is really beautiful. King of Cups here. Ooh, Ten of Wands here. Judgment. This is an emperor. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. This is somebody divine counterpart. There is an emperor here that's a King of Swords that has went through some type of death. They went through some type of transformation. I'm even hearing somebody's going to be resurrected and put into the forefront. I don't know if that's literally or or <laughs> or physically or I, I don't know or spiritually i don't know but somebody i don't know i really like this guy this guy keeps coming out i feel like it's more than one of them actually but i don't know i feel like this reading is going to be straight to the point i keep hearing that song i don't want to like for our lives to be over. Damn, I'm seeing that show, Seventh Heaven. Y'all remember that show, Seventh Heaven? I used to love that damn show. 
I'm hearing, I'm hearing the word predator. Okay, so a lot of people don't know this, okay? But on that show, Seventh Heaven, the father that played the father, he was really like a pedophile in real life, like a child molester. They say, allegedly, that he molested somebody or a bunch of damn kids in the, in the industry or on that show or something like that. I feel like that has something to do with this reading. I'm hearing seventh heaven. It's like whoever your person is, whoever this emperor is, whoever your true divine counterpart is, this is really a good dude. This is divine masculine here, or this could be an emperor. Okay, I am seeing same sex, but I don't really like to discuss that on my channel, even though I don't have anything against the LGBTQ, as I do do readings like that sometimes. But male or female, okay, this person is very godlike, okay? But I feel like there is a predator. There is a predator or somebody that's in this energy. Yeah, we have the emperor and the empress here. Okay? Yeah, we have the high priestess here. I wouldn't be surprised if the hierophant come out, came out. Somebody definitely don't want me to get this out. Yeah, we have the devil card here. I'm finna pray again, you guys. There's something going on here that I really don't. It's like there is a predator in somebody's energy. I don't know if there is. Yeah, queen of swords here. We have the queen of swords and the king of swords. You guys are definitely coming out as each other love match. There is, there is a predator somewhere in this energy. Yeah, this could be an ex-lover of yours, divine masculine, divine feminine. Male or female, yeah, we have the king of pentacles here. There is a predator here. I don't like this energy. And somebody don't want me to get this out. I can feel it. Yeah, what is this spirit? Yeah, nine of swords here. Somebody is worried that they're going to be caught for something. Okay, somebody is going to be somebody's going to be exposed for something or caught for something. Yeah, three of pentacles here. This, this could even be a group that's been working in cahoots with a predator. Okay, six of cups here. Ace of swords here. Spirit is saying this is the truth. Five of Pentacles here. One second, you guys. Damn, ears itching. Yeah, Magician card here. I'm here. I keep hearing seventh heaven. Dun, dun, dun. It's like somebody is finna be exposed for being a damn predator. It's like I'm seeing beautiful energy here. Like the emperor to the empress here. The, there is divine counterparts here. You two individuals are in love with each other. But I'm hearing there is a male, there is a female predator and a male predator. Okay? Like that's that's it's, it's it's like this is good energy. This this is the emperor and the empress that's very much in love. These two individuals have went through some type of transformation with the death card here. And see, the hierophant didn't come out yet. Let me pray real, real quick. There is an entity here that don't want me getting this out. Um, Holy Spirit, holy angels. Please protect me as I deliver this message to the collective. Protect me from any harm or entity or neighbor or whatever. Anybody that don't want me getting this out. I thank you, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Thank you so much. Yeah, we have the Ten of Pentacles here, the Ten of Wands, and the Magician. Yeah, man, this is beautiful energy. What I'm seeing here is beautiful energy, but there's two predators here. Look, let me show you something. We have the Emperor to the Empress here. We have the King of Swords to the Queen of Swords here. You guys are divine counterparts. You're coming out as each other love match. We have the Ten of Pentacles here. Okay, you guys have manifested each other. You both could be in the Nine of Pentacles, self-sufficient, abundant. You're just waiting. You're just waiting on your Tenth Pentacle here. Okay, a family, money, stability, generational wealth, abundance. Oh, Excuse me, spiritual burp. That's all you're waiting on is this 10th pinnacle. And like once you guys come together, you're going to get to the ace of pinnacles, 10 of cups, 10 of pinnacles, ace of pinnacles, empress to the emperor, queen of swords, king of swords. But both of you guys are having to fight right now. This could be twin flames. You guys could be twin flames or you guys could be the high level soulmates. Okay. But there is a predator here. There is a king of pinnacles here. There is a dark high priestess here. There is a predator. There's predators. Okay. I feel like. There, there is a, there is a male predator, that, predator, a male, a man that could be attacking divine feminine in the physical or in the spirit or both, okay? And there is a female predator here that could be attacking divine masculine in the spirit or both. I don't know. I mean, or the spirit or the physical or both. I don't know. There's a lot of predator ass energy here, but I keep hearing seven, seven, like that dude that played the father on that show. I'm even hearing the Brady Bunch. Somebody could definitely be on the down low here. Somebody could definitely be in the closet because a lot of people don't know um, the guy that played. I would, I'm going to say allegedly, even though it's damn near true. Um, the guy that played on the Brady Bunch, the real father, he was. Um, I, did he play on the Little House on the Prairie too? I'm not sure. I don't think so. But the real father on the Brady Bunch was on the down low. 
I mean, I well, I'm not gonna say he was on the down low, but he was gay. He and he died from HIV AIDS. Also, the dude that played on the heat in the night, in the heat of the night, in the heat of the night, the 1990s, the 1980s, and 70s could very could be very significant. But the black guy that played on the heat of the night, I think he died from a cocaine overdose or AIDS or something like that. I'm seeing a lot of predator ass energy, like a lot of cloaking around divine feminine, divine masculine. Okay, this message might not be for everybody. Yeah, three of swords here, four of pentacles here. Yeah, somebody is trying to steal from you, take from you. Somebody is somebody is very stingy here, but they come off as well kept. Somebody comes off as very stable, very uh somebody comes off very stable. Somebody is very judgmental as well. Somebody has a bad judgment of character. Okay, I feel like that's these predators that I'm picking up on. I keep seeing like all these old TV shows, like from the 70s, the 80s, the 90s. Okay, yeah, chariot car here. Six of swords here, page of swords here. Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine, you guys really need to keep your relationship on the low. If you guys are already connected and you're already in a relationship, please keep that on the low, okay? Ace of Cups here, World Card, okay? If you're not already together but you're connected in the spirit and you feel each other, keep that on the down low, okay? Somebody is definitely on the down low in this, in, in this energy. Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine, I did a reading where I said, I said save yourself the hassle. Yeah, Queen of Swords here, Moon Card here magician card here there's definitely about a divine masculine that's coming in towards a divine feminine this person is working behind the scenes on something they're they're building some type of future i told you this emperor this emperor is building some type of future some type of life for this queen of swords okay this emperor does not want this queen of cups to fight along because the king of cups and the queen of cups came out uh earlier before i picked up these cards eight of, eight of wands here this is going to happen very quickly very fast yeah, I told you, look, this Queen of Cups, this Queen of Cups is about to get an offer. I'm hearing Aladdin, uh, I'm hearing Aladdin and, uh, what was her name? Jasmine and Aladdin. I'm hearing the movie Aladdin. I'm hearing Cinderella. I'm, he I'm hearing Cinderella's gonna get a slipper, the glass slipper. Yeah, Five of Cups here. There's a lot of people that's gonna be in regret. There's a lot of people that's gonna be shocked about this union. Yeah, Eight of Pentacles here. Yeah, you guys could definitely be hard at work. There is a lot of shit. Seven of Cups here. There is a lot of shit here. A lot of illusions. Nine of Wands here. A lot of people trying to project onto Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine. Place fear onto you guys. I'm trying to see. I just seen the Devil card. Yeah, Page of Wands here. God, Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine, you guys are extremely strong, extremely powerful. I mean, so much so, man, you've manifested so much. You've planted so many good seeds. I'm telling you, if you're already with your person, keep that on the low until God says otherwise. Please be, if you're already with your person, please start praying together. If not already, pray more. Because there's a bunch of predators here that, that's trying to keep you from walking away. That want you in the Five of Pentacles. Okay, they also hate that you're very intuitive. You could be a high priest or a high priestess, but I feel like divine masculine is a high priest. Divine feminine is a high priestess. I feel like one of these people is more powerful than the other in different aspects. Like the like the divine feminine. Divine feminine is more so, could be more so spiritual. Divine masculine could be more so, uh, uh, I'm hearing lyrical as well. Okay, but I'm hearing divine masculine could be more so religious. Divine ma this divine masculine is a higher fit. Yeah, ten of wands here, ace of pentacles, man. I'm telling you, the temperance card here. This is a walking avenger angel, earth angel, that's about to partner up. I told you, look, that's about to partner up, come together, high higher fit in the high priestess. I told you. Yeah, empress card here, ten of swords here, ten of cups here. After some type of betrayal on both sides, these are two enlightened uh, individuals here that has been stuck in the spirit. It's like these predators, these, these men and women, these karmic energies that think that they're holding you back. They're not. They're just, God is, God is preparing a table in the presence of your enemies. I told you the Hierophant, the most I got, God is preparing this Hierophant and this, this high priestess. I'm telling you every trial and tribulation is just a part of the journey. I feel like 
I need to get another deck. I, I need I need more information on these predators because what I'm seeing in these cards is that divine feminine divine masculine is extremely strong. They're extremely powerful. They can't be broken. They're going to continue to manifest. They're going to continue to grow uh, good seeds. I mean, plant good seeds. Okay, they're going to continue to change, grow, and evolve. No matter what these people try to do, these predators, these ex lovers here, Gemini energy moon card here that keep working behind the scenes cat cancer energy i feel like every time there is a moon cycle these people do the same thing over and over again to the higher fin and the high priestess these divine counterparts i mean like i said it's more than one they keep trying to cause these betrayals yeah they keep trying to cause these betrayals ten of swords here higher fin but the most high god keeps blocking it the guy the guy keeps blocking this shit it's, it's not going to work I feel like there is a predator-ass female out here that keeps cloaking herself in the spirit. Somebody wants to be divine feminine so bad. You're not divine feminine. Somebody somebody thinks they're a divine feminine or somebody, somebody is trying to confuse the real. Somebody wants the real divine feminine to think that they're karmic or somebody keeps doing some type of spell work to try to make divine feminine feel like she's karmic or no, bitch, divine feminine is not karmic. You're karmic. I feel like somebody feels like it's some type of competition or some type of game or I don't know. Nine of Pentacles here. Somebody is very codependent on this masculine. Okay, or or they're they're very codependent on their ex. Somebody do not. It's like there is a karmic energy here that's jealous because they're in the nine of uh there is a Excuse me, there is a karmic energy here that's jealous of divine feminine because divine feminine is in this nine of pentacles energy energy. And she's about to receive justice from this wealthy man here, this king of pentacles here that has manifested. They've manifested each other. Ace of swords here. Spirit is saying this is the truth. Somebody keeps trying to cause burdens, uh, not, not only for just divine masculine, but divine feminine is being attacked more because she has a golden womb. Because she's going to carry a royal baby, a royal child. Seven of cups here, five of pentacles. This a, this a karmic ass bitch here that keeps trying to, I don't know, She this, this, somebody keeps trying to cloak a, a star-like energy king of wands here but it's like no matter how much this karmic bitch keeps trying to uh, attack divine feminine in the spirit it's like this karmic energy wants this man to see this divine feminine as a, as a nobody as a nothing like no i'm the divine feminine that's not the divine feminine and it's not working and then you got a predator ass man out here that's another king of pentacles that's losing their money this should really be in the reverse that's going broke that keeps trying to attack this king of wands that's cloaking himself, who's actually an emperor. It's like this man, damn man, this man, shit. Let's put it like this. Both of you guys are strong. You know, I'm just giving you guys confirmation. It don't matter what these predator ass people do. Male or female, it's not working. I mean, this King of Pentacles in the reverse. That could be your ex-lover, Divine Feminine. They keep trying to go up against this King of Wands, who's really an emperor that's cloaking himself. He ain't, he, I mean, he can't, look, look, he's already defeated. Look, look at this man. Look at this King of Wands with this, the, what is this, a stick or something? Somebody is saying, my nigga, nigga, my nigga, I wish you, well, I don't care what color he, is, color he is, I wish you would come towards me. You you think you're going to fuck with my Divine Feminine? Are you crazy, man? Get back. I feel like there is a masculine here. That no, he can't be this, uh, there is a karmic masculine here that could be your ex divine feminine or something like that. They know he can't beat your emperor. Somebody is mad because they don't know who your real divine counterpart is. Somebody is mad because they want to ruin this relationship. You guys might not even be, be together yet. Or if you are, keep it on the low. Because somebody is trying to ruin this, this connection. They're trying to ruin this relationship, but they mad. Somebody is... Excuse me, spiritual birth. Somebody is mad because they don't know who your person is. They don't know who you... Yeah, they don't know... <laughs> they don't know who this emperor is. Emperor card, ten of pentacles here. Somebody mad because they don't know who your person is. I feel like they ain't going to never find out. And even when they do, whether y'all together or not, they still not going to be able to ruin shit because it's, it's nothing that these people can do that's going to change this man's mind about this divine feminine. Nothing. This, this person sees, look, tower card here, world card here. This person sees this divine feminine as their light, their, their light, the light. And this divine feminine sees this man as her knight in shining armor. Okay, this man is definitely coming towards, I mean, I, yeah, knight in shining armor, knight, knight of swords. This this man is not a knight, but they're they're you know they come in like a thief in the night. Let's put it like that. <laughs> and when I say they come in like a thief in the night, I'm not talking about like they can be coming in the daytime. They could be coming in the afternoon, in the morning. 
Okay, they could be coming at night. I'm here in, in, in the heat of the night. That's what I'm hearing. I'm seeing that show in the heat of the night. This There is a king of pentacles here that's going to be taken out. This man may die of a drug overdose or they finna go to jail or prison. This king of pentacles in the reverse. There is a king of wands here that's going to come in like a thief in the night. I'm seeing that movie with Martin Lawrence, Lawrence, Martin Lawrence the Black Knight. Rest in peace, Martin Lawrence. Okay, allegedly they say they say Martin La Martin Lawrence, Dave Chappelle, now now Jamie Foxx. They cloned them. They died a long time ago. Allegedly, let me not get into that. Okay, <laughs> but um, yeah, you guys, I'm hearing that. I'm seeing that movie, The Black Knight, in my head with Martin Lawrence. Okay, and you know how like a knight, a knight would usually be dressed up in armor. Okay, he may work for. I don't know, a king, an emperor, or something like that. It's like somebody is doing too much. Somebody is a fucking predator here. And it's many of them. Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine. There's more than one predator on this table. You may think that your ex is attacking you. And I feel like, yeah, Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine, Divine Feminine. This nigga or this bitch is attacking you. But there's more than one of these people. Because these these karmic energies that that's your ex, your exes. Or your family members, that these people that's connected to your family, friends, these people keep recruiting people to come up against you. And it's like, they, ain't none of these people, look, I told you, look, devil energy here. Capricorn energy, ten of cups, these devils from your past, ex-friends, ex-lovers, family members, they're all working in cahoots to sabotage you. They don't want you selling on the common waters. Look, they all watching and stocking, page of swords here. They all want you heartbroken. But something is about to happen very quickly, very fast for you and these damn people. You on the good side of karma because you're mad. You you've planted good seeds, okay? You've manifested a life of abundance, and it's about to fall down to the earth. It's about to be your reality, if not already. Three of Pentacles. These people just keep working in cahoots to try to keep you stuck at a standstill. Two of Wands here, Five of Cups here, but they're about to be in regret. Yeah, Eight of Pentacles here. You just keep working hard. That's all. Yeah, Six of Cups here, King of Cups here, Page of Cups here. There's definitely a spirit baby here. It's, I mean, it's just a bunch of fucking predators here that don't know how to get a life. And then they're cloaking themselves in the spirit. There is a king of pentacles here in the reverse that's losing their money. This man may still be the king of pentacles in the upright. I feel like there's more than one though. This could be a bunch of your exes, divine masculine, divine feminine. But I feel like divine feminine specifically, there's a bunch of king of, there, there could be one king of pentacles that's in the upright. This person is very wealthy. I ain't going to necessarily say wealthy. They could be wealthy, but I'm hearing rich. They got a lot of money. I mean, they have a lot of money to stay afloat. There is a king of pentacles in the reverse that keeps attacking divine feminine. This person, the only reason why this person got money is because they sold their soul. And I feel like everybody looks up to this person. This this may be an emperor, but they're only an emperor in the physical. They're not an emperor in the spirit. This is a this is a coward. This is a weak ass nigga that called the shots. That think they about this. This is somebody that sold they sold. This is somebody that wanted microwave shit, and they keep trying to sacrifice the divine feminine. Yeah, look, temperance card here, Sagittarius energy. Yeah, Ace of Pentacles here. They keep trying to sacrifice divine feminine for divine feminine's abundance. But I'm hearing that's about to be put a stop to by this King of Wands that's cloaking himself. That's gonna come in like a knight. Like, like, yeah, this is Divine Feminine's knight in shining armor. This man is going to come in like a knight on a horse. And they're going to take this damn King of Pentacles in the reverse out. Okay, this King of Pentacles better hope he go to jail or die of an overdose or something. Because I'm hearing this this man got two alternatives because they like to snort cocaine. I'm hearing either leave this Queen of Cups alone and go on about your business. Whether you're attacking her in the physical or the spirit or both. Either go on about your business with the chariot. You better hurry up and, and, and go on on. I'm hearing Ashton Martin music. Um, Ashton Martin music again. You better get the fuck out of this woman's energy. All of these divine feminists, or else, because you're not gonna see this coming. It's coming fast. Eight of Wands here. I keep telling y'all Santa Claus is coming to town, and y'all don't hear it. That that means that that now Santa Claus coming to town could mean many different things. Okay, Santa Claus coming to town could mean. Something is going to take place around Christmas and, or the devil finna collect your ass. Because, you know, Santa Claus does represent the devil in some aspects. I'm hearing some some religions or something like that. Look, I told you, devil. Santa Claus is coming to town. Divine feminine, divine master. I'm telling you, save yourself the hassle. Tower car here. You're about to get your breakthrough. And these people finna, they foundation finna fall apart. Your family, people working with your family, ex-lovers, ex-friends here. I'm telling you. They keep working in cahoots. They keep watching and stocking. Page of Swords here. 
it's a bunch of predators it's a it's a car and then i'm telling you it's a, it's another it's a king of pentacles in the upright the only reason why this motherfucker got money they mad because they can't buy divine feminine yeah king of cups here there's a king of cups king of pentacles in the reverse that's obsessed i'm hearing this motherfucker is obsessed this really should be in the reverse five of swords here i told you look somebody is obsessed with divine feminine and they're obsessed they want to know who this divine feminine's knight in shining armor is because I'm, I keep seeing the Knight of Swords. This Knight of Swords is about to come towards this Queen of Cups. Somebody want to know who this Queen of Cups, King of Cups is. They can't figure it out. They up in their head. Somebody is saying to themselves, who is this Who is this divine feminine's divine counterpart? Who are they in love with? Who, you will never figure it out, my nigga. You're not gonna. You're not gonna come in. You're not. Are you? Are you crazy? Do you not understand that this is the High Priest and the High in, in the higher fit? Are you crazy? And I feel like when somebody discover who your person is, they're going to be shocked. And I'm hearing this person is going to be shocked tower. I'm telling you, it's coming all right. Somebody going to be super spooked. They're going to be spooked. They're going to be shocked. They're going to be scared. Ace of Pentacles here. It's a bunch of nosy ass motherfuckers that don't seem to know how to mind their business. Yeah, Page of Cups here. They got these shitty ass offers. It's like you don't even have fucking nothing to offer. Two of Pentacles here. Five of Wands here. All you got to offer is a shitty ass offer. You can what 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 can you do? You can buy Divine Feminine some shoes, some clothes, a purse. You can give Divine Feminine some sex. Okay. You ain't gonna do nothing but keep juggling. You're still you, you dude. If you had the opportunity to be with Divine Feminine, let's talk about the truth. You're gonna juggle her. You're gonna cheat on her with your karmic ass bitch. You love third parties. Same for these karmic ass feminists. Feminists, if you had the chance to be back with divine masculine, you ain't gonna do nothing but try. You all, let's talk about the truth. You karmic ass masculines and you karmic ass feminists. The only reason why you want to be with divine feminine is because you want this woman's spiritual abundance. Their their spiritual inheritance. Same for divine masculine. You a gold digger or opportunist. You don't really love divine feminine, divine masculine. You only you, you're you're infatuated and you're obsessed with divine feminine, divine masculine because you keep looking into birth charts and shit that's expired. You know you know that divine feminine, divine masculine is destined for greatness, but you don't have shit to offer but a bunch of fucking chaos, a bunch of fucking bullshit. Strength card here. You're determined to try to ruin and sabotage somebody and break somebody down, and you're losing terribly. The whole group that's working in cahoots. Because they can't never beat you by themselves. Look, they're about to be dismantled. Death card here because they keep going back doing this kitchen magic. They keep going back doing this spell work and ain't nothing working. It's like divine 808 could be significant. Divine mask and divine feminine. You guys are, are undefeated. I'm hearing a uh, holy field. You guys are, are you're just too undefeated. You too un, you're, you're too undefeated. Queen of Wands here. Yeah, they keep hiring all these. Yeah, it's a it's a witch coven here. I'm so sick of it. It's it's a it's a bunch of witches here that are Queen of Wands really in the reverse. It's a bunch of witches here that keeps trying to put up illusions about divine feminine. And it's like over a man, though. It's like you bitches is fighting over a nigga. Over a man. I don't care what color they is. A man that divine feminine don't even fucking want. These karmic ass maskins are cowards. And again, there's more than one. You got King of Pentacles in the up right here. They got money only because they sold. They sold. They're a part of some type of secret society or some type of occult. And then you got King of Pentacles here in the reverse. That I don't know. These these karmic masculines. These the, the ones. The, these King of Pentacles in the reverse. I'm seeing these are some of the karmic masculines here that be having sex for money. That's on the down low. That's bisexual or gay for pay or in the closet. I don't know, man. Okay, and it's like these karmic feminines, I don't know. It's different people here, bruh. There's so many people here. It's like I don't I don't know I don't know how to keep explaining the same thing. I really don't. I really don't know how to keep explaining the same thing that divine feminine don't want these karmic ass men. Some of these men were actually divine, but they're so coward. They don't even stand up for divine feminine. They care so much about what people think. These people care way too much about what they homeboys think, especially they homeboys. They care more about they what they homeboys think than their own family. But it's like these karmic ass masculines be caring way more about what they family and friends think, and um, so much so that they be uh, talking about divine feminine, attacking divine feminine. These, I mean, no. One second here. Let me get some water, you guys. But 
But yeah, y'all, these fucking karmic ass masculines and shit, man, they just, they don't even stand up for divine feminine. It's like, how do you fuck, how in the hell do you expect a female to respect you or even fool with you or deal with you and you can't even defend her name when she's not around? I mean, you know, I, I, I don't know. That's not love. Because I'm telling you, these karmic ass masculines, they be protecting these karmic ass feminists. You better not talk about they karmic ass wife or baby mama. You better not. Or they karmic ass girlfriend. You better not say nothing about them. One second. Excuse me, you guys. And it goes the same for these fucking karmic ass feminines. It's like you guys don't have no morals, no values, no integrity. You don't really love divine masculine, bitch. You only want this man for his money and you don't want divine feminine to have it. And then some of you karmic ass feminines are so delusional and crazy. You're attacking divine feminine really for no reason other than jealousy and envy. Some of y'all know that Divine Feminine don't want these men. Some of y'all do. It's like, I don't know. But it's like you guys are becoming obsessed with Divine Feminine because, I don't know, everybody want Divine Feminine. These karmic masculines, these Divine masculines. But everybody ain't got good intentions. These karmic masculines only want Divine Feminine for Divine Feminine spiritual inheritance, her money, her abundance. They want to use Divine Feminine to come up off Divine Feminine and then go back and give it to the karmic. And some of these karmic ass masculines were able to do that for so long. But Divine Feminine woke up to the bullshit. Now they're mad. Now they're angry. This is this is this is called growing pains. It's just not it's nothing but growing pains. I feel like a lot of these karmic masculines I'm channeling right now, a lot of these karmic masculines feel like the only the only reason I'm hearing the thoughts. The only reason why divine feminine is stronger now is because they're connected to this higher fence. And somebody is mad. Somebody is saying, "Who the fuck are these higher fence? Who the fuck is these divine masculines?" No, whether divine feminine is with this person or not, divine feminine is strong by herself. Same for this divine masculine. He's strong by himself. It ain't. It, it's. It's just. Gr it's. It's. It's over. What y'all don't realize is, is that these contracts have been voided. They're voided, and it's too late. And you're trying to make a contract now. You realize this bitch is karmic. Now, I mean, I feel like some of you motherfuckers already knew that these females was karmic, but you kept trying to make it work. Some of you females, or some of you females already knew that these niggas was karmic, but you kept, you, you, you did not close out a karmic cycle. That's a part of the game. That's a part of life. And I'm speaking from experience. I'm not talking about something I don't know. I'm a leader. How in the hell can I be a leader if I ain't never been through nothing? I went through a karmic cycle. I used to be in my self note. I was in a karmic relationship, but it's a time and a season for that. When it's time to close out that karmic cycle, you better do it. I don't care if it take you a long time. You better hurry up and get there. When the time is right, the time is right. You can't continue to just keep going through the same karmic cycles. A lot of these people want to have their cake and eat it too. They want to have divine feminine and divine masculine on the side. Yeah, and then they want to work in cahoots. It's like, yeah, you want to come in to war. You want to love bomb. I'm seeing it. You want to love bomb this divine masculine. Oh, baby, I'm ch I've changed. I'm going to start cooking. I'm going to start cleaning up. No, I'm the empress. I'm the true high priestess. I'm the, no, no, no. I'm not a queen of wands. And then the nerve of you hoes, you keep going in the spirit. These group of witches, because you keep recruiting your mama. You keep recruiting these spiritual practitioners that's jealous of divine feminine. Because the more you, you group of hoes, queen of wands in the reverse, the more you witches keep attacking divine feminine the more divine feminine figured it out figures it out look at divine feminine pregnant divine feminine is literally about to be pregnant or she's birthing something new something is about to manifest in the physical here divine feminine is unbothered look at divine feminine just doing her hair makeup yeah and this man is still in love with divine feminine and when i say this man i'm seeing multiple men because it's like no matter how much spell work these group of witches do these karmic masculines are in love with divine feminine these divine masculines, these divine masculines are not playing about their divine feminine. See, these karmic masculines are in love with divine feminine, not only because they want to steal and take from divine feminine, there's her spiritual inheritance, her abundance, so they can give it to a karmic ass hoe. Yeah, let's talk about the truth. These Some of these karmic ass females don't want these karmic ass masculines no more because they broke as fuck. These karmic ass feminines has, have drained these men's bank accounts. 
So they want to come back over here and love bomb divine feminine and get in divine feminine's good graces so they can manifest some more. Some, yeah, they want some of that good energy so they can manifest a life of abundance with a queen of wands. Yeah, they want to steal from divine feminine just to go back to a bitch that don't even give a fuck about them, that don't even care about them because these motherfuckers care more about their image. These karmic ass masculines, they care more about their image. They care more about what their family and friends think, their status, their image, their money. That's why they broke as fucking. You think you finna come over here and try to fuck with these divine feminines? Hell no. Nah. Her divine, these divine masculines, these hair, hair fence, they not having it. Yeah, I'm seeing babies, kids. Dun, 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 dun. I ain't having it. And quit worried about who divine feminine is sleeping with. Quit worried about how many kids divine feminine got. Quit worried about who divine feminine, who she pregnant by. Because there's some divine feminines out here that's pregnant by their divine masculine. Or some of y'all finna be. Quit worried about. Why are y'all so worried about divine feminine's uh, vagina? Why are y'all so worried about divine masculine's penis? You ain't gonna never get it no more. Or you never will have it. Because some of y'all ain't never got to sleep with divine feminine, divine masculine. And some of y'all did and you would never feel it no more. You're not going to bring divine feminine, divine masculine, no incurable STD so you can fuck up their union. You're not going to bring divine feminine, divine masculine, nothing. You're not going to do that. And you're not going to interrupt them. They're, they could possibly be in hermit mode, of course, because they're cloaked. Divine feminine, divine masculine could be in hermit mode. Even They probably don't even know they're in hermit mode. They're being cloaked. There's a bubble of protection around these individuals. Yeah, and this group of witches, this group of damn Queen of Wands ass hoes. It's a group of these hoes that keep trying to, it's like you keep trying to do some type of spell work or something to try to make divine feminine look like you. No, bitch, you're, you're karmic. Now let's get something right. Let's get something straight. Divine feminine, divine masculine are not perfect. They're human. They're only human. So it's like if divine masculine cuts you out or divine masculine smoke a cigarette or divine masculine smoke a blunt, I don't know, or divine feminine, I don't know. It's like, it's like... Everybody else in this world can do whatever the fuck they want to do. But when divine feminine, divine masculine make a mistake or divine feminine, divine masculine do something wrong, they're all, they're, they're terrible. I told you, I told you that man or that woman was karmic. I told you they was the devil. I told you, but this, this, this what I don't understand. You motherfuckers keep sending fake lovers and fake, and fake all these, these group of witches here. They keep sending fake, fake, uh, masculines to divine feminine. You keep sending fake females to divine masculine. These group of witches and niggas. That's it's some, some bitch made ass niggas that's involved in this. The most high God has a has a bubble of protection over these people. So it's like I got a question. How in the fuck are you gonna send somebody towards these people? And then the most high God gives these people a download. Because not only now this this divine masculine is a heroin, but he's also a high priest. This divine feminine is a high priestess, but she's also a heroin. Okay? These people, it's just, it's just, it's just the emperor, the emperor here, he has, he's more of a hierophant than the, than a high priest. Divine feminine is more than a high priestess than a hierophant. Y'all understand what I'm saying? But y'all keep sending people in and then when these fake ass lovers get cussed out or they get taught, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what the fuck y'all doing. The number 19 could be significant. The number 11 could be significant. Somebody could be lying about their age. Somebody is a predator here. Somebody like young girls. There's a karmic ass masculine here that like young girls, man. Or, or children. I'm here, divine feminine. Be careful who you talking to. If you single or you dating, be careful, man. I feel like the, there is a group of queen of wands ass witches here. Somebody, somebody, it's like there is a group of females that know somebody is a pedophile, that know somebody is a, is a child molester, and they could be trying to send this man towards divine feminine. Divine feminine, be careful. Okay, same for you, Divine Masculine. This could be a female that's a female predator that like children. I don't know, y'all. Just stay on y'all P's and Q's. Wait it out. If you get lonely or you get sad, I don't know. I don't feel like you guys are lonely or sad. But, I mean, if you if you have a, a, a moment or just stay away from people. Let God bring you your person. I'm telling you, yeah. Yeah, we got the Knight of Wands here in the reverse here. Strength card here in the reverse. It's like, yeah, it's a group of fucking witches here that's mad. It's like no matter how many females you try to send to Divine Masculine, how many niggas you try to send to Divine Feminine, you get mad. And then because it didn't work, the people wasn't able to sleep with them or finesse them or give them some type of incurable STD or they got cussed the fuck out. 
Do you really think divine, divine masculine, divine feminine don't give a fuck about what you think about them? You can call them karmic. You can call them crazy. You can call them this. You can call them that. You're mad because your plots and schemes ain't fucking working in there. It's like the more you work in cahoots, the more divine feminine, divine masculine keep figuring y'all shit out. And the more the most high God keeps, keeps cloaking them. Like make it make sense. You a group of, you're predators. You're nothing but a group of fucking predators, bruh. I'm hearing the Brady Bunch in my head. There's a story. Yeah. Magician card here. Ten of Cups here. Temperance card here. Yeah. There is a there is a divine mask. Look at look at these two individuals. Just happy. This is how divine masculine, divine feminine is, is in the spirit. Just joyous and happy because the God is orchestrating. Look at look, look, look at all this. God is orchestrating. Look, the more y'all can. <laughs> The more y'all keep attacking divine feminine, divine masculine, look at all these cups. Their cup will overflow. It's like y'all keep attacking. Look, you look at y'all coming towards divine feminine, divine masculine. They're already together in the physical. They're already together in the spirit. It's like the more y'all attack, the more they keep. Look, it, it just it just makes them have more blessings. More blessings. They're one cup, two cup, three cup, four. I mean, more blessings. Look, they still manifesting. It's like the more y'all attack, God say, oh, well, it, it, it didn't got so bad. It didn't got so bad that God is taking y'all blessings and giving it to divine feminine, divine masculine. And I hate to say that. And God forgive me for saying that if I'm wrong. But that's what I'm seeing in the spirit. Temperance card here. There's a walking Avenger angel and an earth angel that's going to connect or they're already connected. These people are going to change the vibration of the earth. Yeah, and there's a masculine here, and there's fem there's masculines and feminines. Some of these people are ex-lovers. Some of these people are ex-friends. Some of these people are family members. They all worry. Why are y'all so worried? I want to know. Why in the fuck are y'all worried about divine feminine, divine masculine's manifestations? Why in the fuck are y'all worried about, really, why are y'all worried about who y'all sleeping with? Why are y'all so worried about divine masculine's penis and divine feminine's vagina? And divine feminine, her vagina smell like peaches and roses and, 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 and honey. I mean, it smell delicious and it's, it's sweet and it tastes good. And that's and you ain't getting it, my nigga, with your devil ass in the reverse Capricorn. You want to come, you want to come towards divine feminine and, and infect her vagina with with a sickness because you got it. You want to come towards divine masculine and give her, give him some of that fish, some of that yeast, some of that sour puss. He don't want that. He don't want no smelly cat. With your dean head ass. You can't even hold the intellectual conversation. I'm seeing Phoebe from Friends. Smelly cat, smelly cat. He don't want that. You're rejected. And you karmic ass masculine. Yeah, I feel like some of these, I feel like it's a group of fucking witches that keep sending fake lovers to divine feminine. And these fake ass lovers get mad because they can't finesse divine feminine. They weak ass spell work not working. So these, so these karmic ass niggas is lying on divine feminine, saying divine feminine cats think Say divine feminine don't keep her house clean. Divine feminine, please stay on your P's and Q's. I told you, Knight of Wands. It's a group of fucking witches and warlocks that keep sending people to divine feminine, divine masculine, and these people keep getting their shit rocked by not only your ancestors, but you as well. You a master magician, a master occultist. You are a high priest and a higher fan. Both of you carry the energy of the high priestess and the higher fan. It's just one of y'all are more... I don't know. The masculine could be more of a high priest. The, 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 it's like one of you are more than the other, but you're both the same thing. You feel what I'm saying? You balance each other. It's, I'm hearing Gemini. I'm hearing yin and yang. I'm hearing Libra energy here. Balance, justice. Yeah, Libra Taurus energy. Yeah, I, I don't understand. You keep trying to keep up illusions about these divine feminines. You want these divine feminines to be karmic, but you keep, I don't under, that's what I don't understand. Why in the fuck do y'all keep doing karmic shit? You keep doing karmic, how are you going to send a fake lover into somebody's life and then get mad because divine masculine, divine feminine pick up on it and cuss these people out or reject these people? Or something crazy happens. And then when they, if these people end up getting shot and killed. Because you don't know these. You don't know where these people divine counterparts is. You don't know if they're with these people or not. You don't know what's going on in the spirit. Y'all sending these fake lovers in. But you, you putting these fake lovers in danger. Just like y'all trying to put divine feminine, divine masculine in danger. Trying to send all these females in. To set this man up to get his money. Y'all lying saying that this man is a trick. 
And he buy, he, he he weak for pussy. That's not true. You saying that divine feminine is trash and ghetto and loud and obnoxious and, and young or dumb or old and dumb or uh, cool. I don't know what the fuck y'all saying. Y'all just making up lies on divine feminine, divine masculine. And then when these people come into contact with divine feminine, divine masculine, they be shocked. And then y'all get pissed off and go right back to the drawing board. And the most high God, look. Anything you can do, I can do better. I can do anything better than you. Divine feminine, divine masculine ain't got to do nothing because they sitting in the palm of God's hands. You're attacking earth angels, star seeds, indigo child, chosen ones, and galactic beings. And walking avenger angels, they don't have to do anything but just pray. And go to the most high God and sit in the spirit while God manifests the life of abundance. Look at all this. Look at all these gifts. Look at all these blessings. That's a, that's a man, please, y'all. Y'all stupid. I don't understand. It's a group of fucking karmic ass feminines out here that's determined to try to uh ruin and, and, and it's like you want you want the I don't know. I don't understand. It's like you want divine feminine to be karmic and a devil so bad. She's not that. She's not that. She's not a hoe. She's not promiscuous. Her pussy don't stink. It smell like it smell good. I'm hearing, on my mama, on my hood, I look fly. I remember that song, I look good. <laughs> yeah, y'all keep working behind the scenes. Somebody could be going, somebody need to go out. Somebody could be going to the club. Somebody could be re reminiscing. Yeah, seven of cups here. Somebody need to, somebody, I don't know. Somebody may be invited to some type of party or some type of gathering. Or somebody, I don't know, somebody may dream of something or something like that. I don't know. I don't know. That's significant for somebody. Yeah, tower card here. Somebody finna, somebody finna get a breakthrough, man. Somebody breakthrough is coming. A bunch of y'all. Three of swords here. It's like they're determined to cause you to be hard. These people are. These people are so weak, bro. Y'all are weak. Your spell work is weak. Six of swords here. Tower card here. And it's like there is a karmic mask, and it's a bunch of them. Some of them are king of pentacles in the upright because they sold. They sold. Some of them are king of pentacles in the reverse because it's like they don't got no hustle about them. I, I mean, you know, some of these men that are king of pentacles in the upright that are karmic, they got a lot of hustle about themselves, but they also sold. They sold. And then you got these old bummers niggas these like hobo sexuals these motherfuckers that's in the closet that's gay for pay don't get me wrong whether they're king of pentacles in the upright or the or the reverse some of these people are on the down low not all of them but some of these men ain't got no hustle about they self and they mad about the they mad at divine feminine because it's like some of these men they ghosted you divine feminine some of these men they, they they abandoned you or left you out in the cold they chose these karmic ass feminines over you whether they was with these men before you or, or after you some of these people, some of these men and women, they thought you were going to need them. They thought you were going to come begging back. Divine Feminine, I'm hearing some of these men thought you were going to be, I don't know. Somebody thought you were going to like, uh, I don't know. Somebody thought somebody was going to lose their mind, go crazy. Somebody thought that, somebody thought that a Divine, divine Feminine was going to beg them and you're not. You're self-sufficient, abundant. Same for you, Divine Masculine. This Feminine thought her vagina was everything. Now, nobody want that fish. It ain't nothing to cut that bitch off. Somebody is lying on they dick as well. I'm picking up on that. There is a karmic mask in here that's lying on they dick. Two, two of cups here in the reverse. Eight of cups here in the reverse. So, devil card here. Somebody, somebody, somebody's spell work is weak, my nigga. Your spell work is weak. I feel like there's somebody here that keeps trying to do spell work on divine feminine. Because they it's like they want to look, look. Two of cups in the reverse. Eight of cups in the reverse. It's like there's a devil ass energy, a warlock. It's a bunch of them. They keep doing spell work on divine feminine and divine feminine keep rejecting your ass. It's like somebody keeps attacking somebody in the spirit, but then trying to ghost them in the physical. And yeah, it, yeah. And I feel like these queen of wands ass hoes, like I said, seven of wands here, these queen of wands keep, I don't know. It's not working. I don't get you people. Why do y'all jump? Why do y'all jump on the bandwagon? Why in the fuck do y'all jump on bandwagons? Make sure y'all hit the like button. Why the fuck do y'all jump on bandwagons, bro? It's like you motherfuckers will do anything for clout. They do anything for clout. Yeah, you got you motherfuckers will do anything for money. You are, it's like somebody you mean to tell me you that weak for money? You're that weak for a come up? Are you struggling that bad in your life that you'll do anything for money? Or you'll do anything to fit in? Or you'll do anything for clout? 
you're that desperate that somebody can just come up to you and be like, hey, I got this girl or I know this man. You know what I'm saying? Go in and love bomb them and act like you like them. Act like you love them. Go in and do that for me and I'll pay you $5,000. i will pay you 10 bands. Y'all ain't even getting no real money. And then you get mad when you can't complete the job. And then you get mad because these people lied, or lied to you about Divine Mask and Divine Feminine. These niggas and these all, they didn't lie to you. Excuse my language, but they didn't lie to you and told you Divine Masculine is weak for pussy. He a trick. He, he dumb. He slow. Same for Divine Feminine. Divine Feminine is a hoe. Divine Feminine is a prostitute. And then when you meet these people, you, you fall in love with them. Or when you meet these people, you get the feeling bad. Yeah. And I'm telling you, to these karmic ass masks, it's a group of fucking, it's not only just a group of fucking females, it's a group of masks that keep attacking divine feminine. And I'm telling you, these group of fucking masks that keep attacking divine feminine, you need, y'all need the, y'all, it's a tower, I told you, it's a group of King of Wands tower card here that keep attacking divine feminine. You finna die, yo, and I mean that shit from the bottom of my heart, from the depths of my soul. I'm here. I'm seeing the Grim Reaper in my head. Y'all don't understand. Somebody don't play these. I keep telling y'all these divine masculines are not playing about they divine feminine. Y'all just keep working in cahoots. You keep trying to, yeah, two of pentacles here. It's like you keep, you motherfuckers keep trying to send these fake lovers in divine feminine, divine masculine. Like, yeah, divine masculine is getting fake lovers sent into their life. But Divine Masking don't love these hoes. Divine Masking, yeah, he might be fooling with a couple of women. I don't even think Divine Masking could. Some of these Divine Maskings are celibate, but he don't love these hoes. He only, all he care about is Divine Feminine. You keep trying to see a divine feminine is being attacked more heavily because she has the golden womb and she's going to carry a royal child. Mary, did you know? That your baby boy. That's what I'm hearing. I'm hearing something about Christmas. Okay, I keep hearing it. Mary, did you know? Yeah, look, two of Pentacles here. Y'all keep sending these old Knight of Wands ass energies towards Divine Feminine, then get mad when the spell work don't work. Look, Knight of Cups, these old shitty ass offer these knights and shit. Ace of Cups in coming in trying to cloak themselves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two of Swords here, then get mad when you get blocked. And then some of you motherfuckers be paid. You be paid to come into divine feminine life. To, yeah, look, Empress card here. It's paid to come into divine feminine life. To break divine feminine. It's like y'all are paid to love bomb divine feminine. Then look, look, coming with roses and flowers and shit. Ace of Cups, like you can bless divine feminine. I mean, you can't, only God can bless, you know. But I'm just saying, like, you can really do something for divine feminine coming with roses and flowers and shit. Yeah, like you giving your heart to somebody. You motherfuckers be paid to love bomb and hurt divine feminine and then get mad when the shit don't work. Yeah. It, 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 this shit is weird. You motherfuckers be paid to come into people life and love bomb them and ghost them. And then when y'all try to love bomb and ghost people, you still be trying to pull from their spirit. Like they can't like, like this. Look again. I'm not going to keep saying this shit, bro. Divine feminine, divine masculine are both. Divine masculine is a higher fit, high priest. Divine feminine is a higher fit, high priestess. It's just one of these people got more, like one person could be more spiritual and one person could be more religious. But they're both grounded. They're both each other's equal. They're both each other's match. They're a match made in heaven. You idiots. Five of pentacles here. That's where y'all finna be headed. It's like the more y'all attack, the more you lose. You losing your own blessings. You look, Yeah, you still ain't repentant. You still ain't got right with God. You still won't ask the most high for forgiveness. You still won't get your shit right. But you always trying to talk about somebody else. You always trying to critique somebody else. You always trying to say somebody else is a devil. But listen, divine feminine, divine masculine is not perfect. Empress here. They not perfect. It's like, why, why is that? Ace of Swords here in the reverse. You a bunch of liars, a bunch of thieves. You always working in cahoots. A lot of you motherfuckers, you can't even stand alone. You can't even stand by yourself. A lot of you motherfuckers are surrounded by people always gossiping on the phone. You, A lot of you motherfuckers are always, you always doing something. You can't even be by yourself. The only time you by yourself is when you go to the bathroom. And that's for some of y'all. Because some of y'all got people going to the bathroom with you. Some of you on the down low, like I said. Some of these karmic ass mess, some of these feminists is on the down low. I don't know. But the difference between divine feminine and divine masculine and you motherfuckers, when divine masculine and divine feminine fuck up, they ask the most high God for forgiveness and they get right back on track. 
shit and a lot of shit that divine feminine divine masculine be going through y'all y'all bring this shit divine feminine divine masculine be minding they fucking business and here you go bringing set up queens and set up kings trying to set up divine feminine divine masculine then you bitch ass people get mad when it don't work oh and now divine feminine divine masculine is a devil no they're not a fucking devil y'all are a group of fucking devils leave divine feminine divine masculine alone and i feel like some of you are starting to do that but you can't help yourselves because you're so obsessed Yeah, ten of wands here. Keep trying to call people burdens and shit. You trying to call a star seed the temp the earth angels, walking avenger angels burdens and shit. Yeah, trying to block and stop people manifest manifestations. Don't want them to receive justice. Justice card in the reverse. Don't want them to have love. Gemini energy. I feel like somebody is way too balanced for that shit. Yin and yang. I'm hearing opposites attract. I'm hearing somebody could be somebody could be opposites, but they're very much alike. They're very analytical. Heavy. Somebody is definitely a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. There's heavy air sign here. These divine counterparts are earth sign here. Virgo, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Yeah, it's not gonna work. It's you're not. Yeah, and stop. Quit worrying. Why are you so funny? You spend your whole day doing this. All of you that's working in cahoots. If it's not your family, it's ex friends, ex lovers. Why are y'all so worried about divine feminine? Yeah, I feel like there's a group of people that want to know if divine feminine is pregnant or they divine feminine is a grown ass woman, bitch. Nigga, I'm talking to you, niggas. And you, why are you worried about divine feminine? Divine feminine is grown. Let's, let me say that again. Divine feminine is grown. Divine masculine is grown. If divine masculine and divine feminine want to have 30 goddamn royal children, they going to have it. You not, you can't dictate. You mad because you can't dictate somebody's life. They grown. You, you, you're you mad because you can't control somebody. And you mad that the decisions that you made in your life, you made your bed so late in it. Why the fuck are you worried about divine masculine's penis? Why are you worried about divine feminist vagina? Why are you so worried about these people's sex life and who they, what they, why are you worried about what, why are you, why are y'all so fucking nosy? Get a life. I mean, I feel like you motherfuckers get on the phone and you don't even wash your face and brush your teeth yet before you start gossiping about somebody. It's like you wake up and pull your phone out and get the gossiping. And there's a karmic ass masculine out here that want to know who yo who this divine who these divine feminine you're not gonna figure out who these divine feminines divine masculine is these higher fence. And even if you do, you still ain't gonna do shit. You ain't gonna be able to. Do, I'm here and run up and get done up. This divine these divine masculines adore divine feminine. They not playing about that. Man, listen, y'all. You finna get your motherfucking ass whooped. I'm telling you, it's a bunch of hair fence out here that want to see you personally, my nigga. He, this man is going to, this man going to beat your ass. Somebody, I mean, I'm telling you, y'all don't understand. And I'm telling you, these, these divine masculines, they don't care about nobody. But they divine feminine. And they will kill for, the, they'll kill for these women. I'm hearing that song by Music Soul Child. I'll love you if your hair turns gray. Yeah. I still want you if you gain a little weight. Yeah. The way I feel for you will always be the same. Just as long as your love don't change. Oh, I was meant for you and you were meant for me. Yeah. These are high level soulmates, hierarchy twins. Not you motherfuckers that didn't have a fall from grace that stuck in karmic cycles. This man don't give a fuck. Devil card. These higher fence don't give a fuck. Look. Look, this man is like, look at his, look at his hand coming out. Come on, Divine Feminine. I love you. You all I care about. I adore you, my queen, my empress. But to you motherfuckers, he the devil. You finna go. You finna, some of y'all finna die, literally. And I don't mean no harm. And the dead watch over me. And I see the Grim Reaper. You don't even know what's finna happen to you. Bruh, keep fucking with this man, his wife. You keep fucking with this man, wife. I don't care if he, if he divine, if he in the, uh, if they together or not, you stop. Queen of Cups here, Ten of Pentacles. You won't stop fucking with this man's divine counterpart. He said, I know you think he's a game. I keep telling you Santa Claus is coming to tell y'all don't get it. These the, the God is about to change the vibration of the earth. Keep, yeah, then you group of karmic assholes. And I feel like God, the most high God in this devil energy, he got something real special for you, for you, for you Jezebel ass females. Yeah, God's got something real special for you hoes. 
you concubines, you, yeah, bitch, y'all better, y'all better go on. Y'all know I'm Nefertiti reincarnated shit. If this was ancient, ancient Kemet, on behalf of all the royal queens and, and, and empresses, if this was ancient Kimmy, you motherfucking concubines, I would have been got rid of you bitches. You hoes would have been beheaded. Damn, it's your Jezebel ass hoes. Damn, you con your concubines. You my you my motherfucking concubines, bitch. All you hoes is your divine feminines concubines. Get 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 in line, ho. Get your motherfucking ass in line. Back in ancient Kemet, we had something called a chariot. Like these, see these cards ain't nothing but chematic spirituality. That's all they is. We had something called a chariot, and we had horses, not dogs. We had horse. Matter of fact, I'm gonna keep it a buck. We had sometimes we used we used concubines. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah. Let's talk about the truth. Cause see, I'm Nefertiti reincarnated. I break it down for you, motherfuckers, real smooth. See, if you go back and look at some ancient Kemet artifacts and wall paintings. Sometimes we used horses, like when we want, like when I wanted to go shopping. Sometimes I used horses when I wanted to go shopping or buy perfume or go out into the city and check and see what's going on. I would have horses. Uh, um, yeah, I would have horses move my uh, my my chariot, and then sometimes I would have uh, my army of men carry me around. On my uh, I forgot what it's called. It was some type of special seat that I had. I forgot what it what it's called. But I would have my army of men carry me on my throne. Okay, and then sometimes you know when the peasants and the motherfucking concubines got to acting up, they would be the ones that would have to crawl on on all fours. They would have to get on their hands and their knees, and they would have to push my chariot. Yeah, they were my fucking slaves. And I'm not condoning slavery. So don't watch my goddamn channel and be like, oh my God, she's condoning slavery. No, these people, that's what they that's what they deserved. Cause they were evil as fuck. They kept trying to ruin ruin the bloodline. And that's what y'all keep trying to do to divine feminine, divine masculine, these spiritual beings. You keep trying to ruin their fucking bloodline. You keep trying to stop and ruin shit. Not only I'm going through the same thing, all I do is get messages out. And I don't know who the fuck I pick up on, but I'm going through the same thing. I'm not getting paid on this channel what I deserve. People are stealing my money, hacking my revenue, ass suitability, shadow banning my channel. But I don't even give a fuck. The only reason why I keep coming back is because God is telling me to because he's going to bless me in the presence of my enemies. And he's also going to do the same thing for the rest of these other people. You fucking karmic ass masculines and shit. You think it's a joke? You think it's a game? You finna die, yo. You and these karmic feminines. And I mean that shit. And I don't wish death on nobody. But I'm telling you, you playing a dangerous game. God is orchestrating shit in the heavens. You got all these big spirit babies and ancestors for a divine feminine, divine masculine that's just sitting in the spirit that's ready to come down, that's ready to be born. That's ready to reincarnate because somebody's going to have a reincarnated child, a reincarnated son or daughter or twins or triplets. Somebody's going to have it's a bunch of people that's ready to come down to the earth and reincarnate. And you people is playing games, trying to stop it. But watch how God stop some shit for you real quick, fast, in a hurry. Eight of Wands, moon card here. All this working behind the scenes to try to keep people stuck. Yeah, two of Wands. Here. That's why y'all up under judgment, man. Don't you get it? And I'm hearing the Most High God is already here. He's already walking the earth. And the devil is already out of his cage. And that's why he finna fucking collect y'all ass. Period. I'm saying you gonna die playing, messing with the, playing with the Most High God. All these goddamn groups of witches and warlocks. Especially these, yeah, these jealous ass Jezebels, karmic feminists and shit that just won't quit. That just won't stop. I'm finna go to the next reading in a little bit, but I can't even get out of this. And then whoever the fuck these King of Pentacles in the reverse or the upright, whether you're broke or you got money or whether you can, whether you got hustle about yourself or not, why, quit worried about, yeah. Let's talk about the truth. You can't outbeat these King of Wands. You scared. Nigga, you scared. Your ass is scared. Let's talk about the truth because you stay watching your back. I'm seeing you in my third eye. You watching your rear view mirror every time you get in the car because you know what you didn't did. You know what you didn't did. You a bitch made ass nigga. You didn't work with all these Queen of Wands in the reverse, really. You didn't work with these Jezebel and hoes to do spell work on divine feminine to try to steal and take divine feminine's spiritual inheritance or physical inheritance or abundance. And you scared, my nigga. You know you scared. Number one, you scared because you don't know who the fuck this divine masculine is. Number two, you might know who he is, but you don't know. Yeah, you scared, my nigga. You scared as fuck. You scared you're going to get your motherfucking ass beat. You can't fight, my nigga. Whoever the fuck you is, you can't fight. I'm seeing it, my nigga. You can't fight. I don't care what color you is. You can't fight, bruh. You cannot fight, bruh. You're going to try to pull out a gun or pull out a weapon 
I don't know what the fuck you gonna try to do, but you ain't finna get away with it. Yeah, you, what, you so motherfucking scared you think you gonna shoot and kill somebody? That's what you thought. I feel like somebody is connected to the feds or some type of federal agent. That's what I'm hearing. You ain't gonna get to shoot and kill no motherfucking body. And I feel like these group of feds that are masculines, they gonna let this masculine beat your motherfucking ass. You deserve. I feel like everybody, everybody involved wanna beat your motherfucking ass, my nigga. You finna get your ass beat. Shit, I feel like somebody gonna be hog tied. Somebody gonna be hanged. I'm seeing the shit in my third eye. I'm see, seeing the movie Jason's Lyric. And, and what, who who in that movie, Tretch, and that one dude, they took him to the fucking uh, warehouse and hung him from the goddamn ceiling and beat his ass. That's what's gonna happen to your bitch ass with your scary ass. King of Pentacles in the reverse. You didn't did too fucking much. You bitch made. And you a fucking coward. Like I said, all you karmic ass masters, you fucking cowards. You sit up, you care so much about your image. You care so much about your friends and your motherfucking family. What people think about you, say about you, uh, blah, 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 that you don't even stand up for divine family. You don't even protect divine family. You let people talk about divine feminine like a dog when you know divine feminine is decent you know divine feminine is an empress yeah but you but you so quick you yeah you know you got jealous ass homeboys your jealous ass homeboys is looking at you stupid because i feel like a lot of you karmic masters you care more about what your homeboys say than, you, than your family and friends your mama and daddy your sisters and brothers say you care more about what them niggas say but them niggas is looking at you stupid them niggas is saying damn if i had a female like that if i had a woman like that i sure wouldn't be with no karmic ass bitch these these, these niggas be laughing at you behind your back and the same motherfucking karmic ass masks that you keep sending towards divine feminine, they always fall in love with divine feminine. Yeah, some of them, some of them be hating on divine feminine. Let's talk about the truth. But some of them be lying to you. Some of them might come back to you and say, yeah, divine feminine pussies thing. Yeah, divine feminine, divine feminine don't keep her house clean. Divine feminine is this, that, and the third. But they lying to you, my nigga. They lying to you because they like, man, this bitch ass nigga didn't send me towards this female a baddie somebody that's smart somebody that's intelligent somebody that got their shit together and lied i feel like a fool i feel like an idiot now i'm facing jail time now i'm finna go to jail now i gotta deal with karma because i didn't teamed up i you, you lied my nigga somebody didn't lie somebody keep lying on a bunch of it's a bunch of divine feminines that's going through this divine feminine please be careful somebody could be a nurse here Somebody could definitely be a nurse here. Or they're going to be somebody finna graduate nursing school or something like that. Yeah, these motherfucking niggas just keep lying. You just keep lying on these divine feminists because you can't fuck. Yeah, let's talk about the truth. You can't fuck because divine feminine don't want you. Because she don't want no incurable STD. Whether you got an incurable STD or not, you, you're you mad because you can't fuck. Yeah, the, yeah, you know, yeah. She's in love with the king. She's in love with the real emperor and you mad. Yeah. Same for these goddamn divine masculines. Shit, y'all keep sending these old Jezebel ass females in to try to manipulate divine masculine. Get his money. Yeah, he don't love these hoes. Divine masculine keeps saying, I don't love these hoes. I only love divine feminine. And, and divine masculine said, I'm hearing, I'm seeing baby boy in my head. And y'all remember when Yvette, that girl she was working with at the call center, she was trying to sleep with her baby daddy. She was trying to sleep with Jody and he went over her house. And he was like, nah, 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 you didn't get no daddy dick. <laughs> yeah, these hoes is mad because Divine, Divine Master ain't giving it up. Divine Master said, hell no, nah, this, this D-I-C-K, it belong to Yvette, bitch. <laughs> nah, 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 you ain't get no... <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, Divine Master. Oh shit, Divine Master, I don't love these hoes. I just seen that. The hair fin again. Divine Masculine said, hell no. Nah, I don't love these hoes. I don't love these motherfucking hoes. Y'all worried. Y'all worried, Divine Masculine. Yeah, why are y'all so worried with the Nine of Swords and the Nine of Pentacles here? Why are y'all up in y'all head? Why are y'all worried about this King of Swords? Yeah, to a to a to a wand. y'all keep doing every motherfucking thing to try to cause Divine Feminine to be heartbroken with Magician Card here doing spell work, trying to get Divine Feminine to walk away. Yeah. Nine of Pentacles, you keep trying to get divine feminine. It's like you want divine. Why do y'all want divine feminine to be heartbroken, sad, depressed, bad reading? You keep doing death spells. You don't want you don't want divine feminine to get her a degree. You don't want divine feminine to go to school, get an education. You don't want divine feminine to have a job. You don't want divine feminine to be an entrepreneur. This man, this you know why these you know why these divine masculines love and care about these divine feminines? 
They love and care about these divine feminines for several reasons, but a lot of it is because they self-sufficient abundant. They're not out here fucking and sucking for a check. They not out here. They not out here fucking their way to the top. They not. They 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 get it how they live. They out here hustling. Whether divine feminine got two pennies, two nickels, two quarters, two hundred, two thousand, two million. They not out here. They not out here scheming and scamming. I mean, oh yeah, this is the group of hoes that got all. Yeah, that's what Spirit said. This is the group of karmic feminines that got all them PPP loans in the past, and they scared and shit because they that they business is falling apart. So now they trying to steal and take from divine feminine. Yeah. Some of you hoes is connected to, to, the, to, the, to these karmic ass masks and some of y'all were, were connected to divine masks because I'm hearing these karmic masks ain't going to never leave these Jezebel ass hoes alone. Because, tra you know, trash always got to lay with fleas. You know, the, you know, trash and fleas belong together with your bitch ass, bitch ass nigga. I don't care if you a king of pentacles in the reverse or a king of pentacles in the upright. You a, you bitch made, my nigga. You sitting up talking about divine feminine like 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 with, you sitting up talking about divine feminine with a group of hoes. You bitch made, yeah. You worried about why are you so worried about who who making love? I'm hearing who's making love to yo old lady. Why why do I keep hearing baby boy in my head? I'm hearing you just a baby boy. Grow your ass up. Some of y'all still living at your mama house. Some of y'all don't even got a stable place to fucking live. Yeah, then you want to got you got the nerve to talk about divine feminine because she's self sufficient, abundant. I'm hearing some of these goddamn masks. They do got a bankroll. They do got money, but some of these niggas been in and out of jail so much they didn't fucked up. They they didn't fucked up every fucking thing. Yeah, you done fucked up your credit. Then you, then you, yeah, why the fuck? I'm hearing stolen identity. Y'all out here trying to ruin divine feminine, divine masculine's credit. You using fake alien. You, you trying to steal their identity and shit. Some of y'all have them. You going to jail. You going to prison real quick, real fast. Hair fin here. I'm telling you, these hair fins are not playing. Don't you understand? These hair fins are not playing about their divine feminine. These men are going to kill you. You don't play with no man's wife and his children and his money and his family. Are you crazy? Unlike you karmic ass masculines, some of these men take that shit serious. It's not a game to them. That's they that, 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 that's all they know. Some of these men are, are street dudes, ex street dudes. Some of these men, shit, I don't know. It's, it's different types of men. Some of these men are professionals. It don't matter. But these men don't play about their divine feminine. You know why? Because God ordained them. God ordained them to protect these women at all costs. And you think it's a game. You think you can go. You but Let's talk about the truth. You know you can't go up against these higher fins. You scared. You scared in the bitch, man. I'm seeing you. Everywhere you go, you paranoid. And you keep trying to cause paranoia for divine feminine. Yeah, same for you Jezebel ass hoes. Nah, 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 bitch. You ain't getting no daddy D-I-C-K. You ain't getting none. You ain't never getting it, bitch. And if you got it, but if you got it before, you ain't never getting it again, ho. Cause you fishy, bitch. You spend all day doing kitchen, man, bitch. You don't even wash your face and brush your teeth before you get on the phone and start gossiping. It take you that long to get ready. That's all you hoes do is sit around and gossip all fucking day. I ain't never... One thing about KMP, uh, Nefertiti, Mimi, and Prophets, uh, aka Tempest, I ain't never hung with a group of hoes. I always been a motherfucking loner. And let's talk about the truth. That's really why some of these goddamn masculines don't want y'all ass because you're messy and you gossip. Not only do you not keep your house clean and your hygiene up, you, you always on a motherfucking phone gossiping and shit. I'm going to tell you something. A real man like a woman, is they like quiet women, not you karmic ass masculines. You know, you karmic ass masculines. You say you stay rejecting the true divine feminine. The divine masculine, he like quiet women. He like low key women. He don't like stripper hoes. He don't like hoes that's fucking and suck, sucking to get to the top. He like quiet women. Matter of fact, a lot of these masculines be liking wholesome women. They like freaks in the sheets, but a lady in the streets and a freak in the sheets. Some of these men like, like church women. And don't get me wrong, because some of them church women be super freaks. But I'm just saying, these men be, they don't be liking all of that. A lot of you, a lot of you fucking karmic feminists are a lot of the reasons why you don't get chosen is because you gossip too much. All you, you're messy. And you, that's why a lot of these divine feminists don't want you karmic masculine because you're fucking messy. All the fuck you do is sit on the phone and gossip and shit all day. I, I, I don't care, y'all. Ever since I was a kid, real shit, I never hung with a group of, I always been a loner. And I ain't gonna lie, when I was a kid, when I was a kid, it bothered me when I was in elementary and junior high and shit like that. Because I used to be like, God, why come I, I don't fit in? Why come they don't accept me? And then God, as the older I got and the more that I learned, I, I, I became secure in myself and I realized I was the chosen one. It was my life. 
like I said, a lot of you motherfuckers can't even ride by yourself. So a lot of you motherfuckers can't even spend a week by yourself, not even a day, 24 hours. You will go crazy. You will lose your motherfucking mind because you got to deal with these them demons and shit. Yeah, then you get mad and pissed off because divine feminine, divine masculine is self-sufficient, abundant, and they ride along. Divine masculine is a one army man, and divine feminine is a one army woman. Soldiers for the army of the Lord. Fuck you mean, bitch. And I meant that shit. And God didn't say I couldn't cuss. Just, you know, he be like, he be he do be getting on me sometimes. He be like, don't get too bad with it, but you can say that. I feel you. Shit, God know my heart. He know I'm legit. He know I'm one honey. Shit, I'm on here preaching today. Shit. And they stay, yeah, and you karmic ass tarot reader assholes, you stay flagging my videos, you stay flagging my content, you stay stealing my shit. But that's all right, though, because the most I got going to take care of your motherfucking ass. He going to take care of all you motherfucking people that's stealing from me, that's working in cahoots, not paying me what I'm supposed to get paid, hacking my revenue, trying to ruin and sabotage me. But I work too motherfucking hard for my channel to just walk away. I don't give a fuck about that shit. I'm not going nowhere. If you want me to leave, delete the channel. Push me out. But you're too scared to do that because I'm not doing anything wrong. I'm not really violating any rules. You just keep trying to create rules to get me to walk away, to get me to go. But you don't know who watching me. My spiritual team, my ancestors, the archangels, and the higher-ups. Some of the, not the bad higher-ups, but some of the good higher-ups, they love me. They need people like me. See, what y'all don't realize is y'all be trying to ruin and sabotage people and get rid of people. But you don't realize that this is the age of Aquarius. This is New World Order. The government, even the motherfucking reptilians, the motherfucking government, the people that run the world, they need chosen ones. They need people like me. They need starseeds like me because we are the fucking future. We're the only ones that have tapped into our Akashic records. Not only have we tapped into our personal Akashic records, we've tapped into the world Akashic records. Why? Because we're reincarnated souls. We've been here many lifetimes, dumbasses. You can't take a chosen one out. That we don't. What did, what did I tell y'all? Chosen ones don't die. They fucking multiply. If you the chosen ones got got lives like a cat. In ancient Kimmy, we didn't fuck with dogs. And I'm not gonna talk about why we did nothing against dogs because I like dogs. But in ancient Kimmy, we fuck with cats because we really cats was the gateway of the afterlife. We really did have nine lives and shit. If you kill a chosen one, I guarantee you they gonna come right back. They come back instantly. I tell you, a chosen one can die two months. A, a chosen one can die in two months and then come back through your auntie or your cousin or your brother or your sister. Somebody going to have a baby in the family. There you go. Chosen one is coming back. And I'm telling y'all, there's a higher fin and a high priestess here that's going to have a royal child that's going to reincarnate to this earth. Keep fucking with these people. It's not, I'm not saying divine feminine, divine masculine is going to kill you with the justice card here, but they will get justice. Santa Claus is coming to town. The devil finna collect some of you bitches and hoes and it's a lot of shit that's gonna happen around this winter time oh it's gonna be a cold winter you thought late like, you thought 2022 winter was cold you thought that was the big payback you thought you was getting your shit then oh that was minor i mean you're not gonna be able to handle what's coming up in 2023 2024 and 2025 oh it's gonna be a deadly cold ass winter you better get your ass somewhere and sit down. You better you better prepare. You better you better stock up on food. You better stock up on rice and beans and canned goods. You better learn how to survive. You better learn how to grow your own food. You better learn how to survive martial law. You better do something and quit worrying about divine feminine, divine masculine, because a lot of y'all ain't gonna fucking make it. All these goddamn attacks, all this goddamn spiritual warfare that y'all keep trying to cause for divine feminine, divine masculine, the most high guy is allowing them to go through that. Why? Because they're a leader. They're the true leaders of this world, the true leaders of these countries. You motherfuckers are in dire need of assistance. Let's talk about the truth. I was on TikTok yesterday. I was on YouTube yesterday and everybody around the world is complaining about inflation and how bad the gas prices is, the food prices is, the cost of living is. But see, a lot of you motherfuckers have been living on the high horse. You've been living on the hog for so fucking long that you can't function and you can't make it. I'm not saying that divine feminine, divine masculine is not being affected by the but by, by those things. But the most high God is always taking care of us. And a lot of y'all shit might change. A lot of the shit might change for you if you quit fucking complaining. Appreciate where you at right now. Appreciate the struggle. Appreciate yeah, a lot of what I realized when I looked on TikTok and I looked on YouTube and all these people complaining about inflation and shit, a lot of these motherfucking people, man, uh, are ungrateful. And I'm not calling these people ungrateful because they ungrateful as in because some of these people are, are legitimately going through it. We all going through it. But a lot of these people are ungrateful. The ones that I'm not talking about regular people that's going through, you know, financial issues. I'm talking about the materialistic ass people. 
You know what I'm saying? They 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 want to shoot themselves in the head. They want to kill themselves. They can't they can't function. Yeah, the government ain't broke. The government is not fucking broke. They are not broke. They just not finna keep taking care of you motherfuckers no more. Shit. And I don't say that in a bad thing. And I don't say that in a good thing. I'm just saying. It's like no matter what, no matter what, what, no matter what type of lifestyle you live, whether you live in poor, in poverty, middle class, or rich, just be thankful for where you at. Appreciate where you at. That's all I'm saying, if that makes sense. Because I'm telling you, God don't like a person that's, I, I mean, you know, I ain't finna get into all of that. Because I be on here preaching all day, man. I'm like some more of this Palo Santo. Yeah, that's what the most high God want me to say is that you don't know, you know, your situation may be real bad and you may really be struggling or you may really be going through something, but you never know what the next person is going through. Try to be mindful because your situation may be rough. It may be tough. It may be hard, but you don't know what the next person is going to going through. And I'm not talking about people that's in poverty or homeless or struggling. Or, I'm not talking about everyday people. I'm talking about these. Okay, so don't get offended. I'm talking about these materialistic ass people that's been living high on the hog. I don't care if they white, black, Hispanic, group, blue, green, purple. The people that's been that's been stealing and taking from people. That's been taken from the poor, taken from the take see. This this is what the most high God showed me. The poor know how to survive because they've been poor for so long. They know how to go buy them some beans and some rice and they know how to make they the poor is not being affected by inflation because they didn't been poor so long. They have been struggling so long. They've been going through bullshit for so long. They know how to survive. They know how to make it. The, the look, the, the the low income, the poor, people in poverty. They they know how to make a dollar out of 15 cents. This shit ain't affecting them. Shit, that's just a, it's just another day for them. But these motherfuckers that's been living high on the hog, that's been attacking the poor in these in these groups and covens, these masons and eastern stars, these fraternities, these sororities, that's been attacking people, stealing from people, taking from people, taking from the poor. Not just taking from the poor. You 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 even take from the middle class sometimes. But a lot of these people in the middle class, they want to be rich so bad that they'll do anything. You know, I hope I'm making sense. But see, now that y'all, now that shit is, this is being done on purpose. The government, they can, they can lower the food prices. They can lower the gas. They can lower all this shit. They doing this shit on purpose because they sick of you motherfuckers. You know why? Because the first shall be last and the last shall be first. And then motherfuckers don't want to, you don't want to hear about UFOs. They telling you in plain sight. They, y'all, y'all sitting up saying, oh, we don't want to, we don't care about UFOs. That's a distraction. I'm struggling to buy groceries. I'm struggling to buy food. Be thankful for where you are, God. God is testing everybody right now. Okay? And I'm not saying that the poor and the low and the, and the, and the less fortunate is not being tested. They're being tested as well. But you motherfuckers that's used to living outside your means, you used to going out to eat when you want, you used to going partying when you want, you used to kicking it when you want. Yeah, because you know why you've been able to do that? Because you've been stealing and taking from the last. But the last shall be first and the first shall be last. I'm telling you, the poor people, the people that's, that, that, that's been poor, the people that's been struggling, they not worried about this inflation shit. I mean, they worried about it, but not as much as you motherfuckers, because shit, it, it, it's been they motherfucking life. They been surviving. Okay, off, off beanies and weenies and bologna sandwiches. <laughs> shit. It's you motherfuckers that's used to having money, that's used to living high on the hog, that can't function. But you should have been paying attention. You, a lot of you motherfuckers don't even know how to go to the grocery show and store and shop. You you sitting up buying bullshit. Yeah, you cause you you yeah you really mad. Let's talk about the truth. You really motherfucking mad cause you can't go uh you can't go out to eat every fucking weekend at your five favorite five star restaurant. Let me shut the fuck up. I need to shut the fuck up, but I can't shut the fuck up cause the Most High God got me preaching today. And they get so motherfucking mad at me. They get so motherfucking mad at me, bro. Every time I speak the truth. Lord, I'm, I'm worth so much more. I'm worth motherfucking millions. And they know it. They know it. They know it. And I still keep coming back here. And I say, Lord, why do you keep sending me back to this sorry motherfucker? This sorry ass YouTube. God good and he doing it for a reason. I don't know what that reason is for. But I just keep on praying. I say, God, I'm here, God. I thank you, God. Thank you. Thank you for working it out, Lord. I appreciate you. God ain't playing. Like I said, 
this, this is, this, this is the church. This is, I'm preaching today. Like I said, you motherfucking people, the government is doing this shit on purpose because they sick of you motherfuckers. You greedy. They doing this shit on purpose. I'm telling you one day we going to wake up. See, they, it's, they, they deceiving you. They want you to think over oh, the rich is getting richer and we're hurting the poor. I'm telling you, they doing this shit on purpose so they can save. They doing this shit on purpose. They're doing this shit on purpose. I'm telling y'all, one day y'all gonna wake up and paper money gonna be gone. They gonna stop printing money. Paper money ain't real. Coins is gold, silver, copper. <laughs> yeah, that paper money finna be over and done with. Y'all so busy attacking divine feminine, divine masculine, but see, God will allow your enemies to be your footstool. While y'all sitting up attacking divine feminine, divine masculine, he just, he, the most high God just keep on blessing him. Keep on blessing him. See, the attacks in the black magic, in the spiritual warfare that y'all are doing, it ain't doing nothing but preparing a table in the presence of, uh, of divine feminine, divine masculine's enemies. God is preparing divine feminine, divine masculine, the chosen ones, the star seeds. To be the leaders of this world, the leaders of this country. You think these the look, see, this is what y'all don't understand. Y'all think the UFOs in the alien sightings, they have to tell y'all this. They can't no longer keep this a secret because the extraterrestrials have already come back. They're already here working with the ancestors, working with the archangels, working with the most high God. They can no longer hide it. They've tried to hide it for so long. I'm here in Area 51, UFO. Okay, Area 51. They've tried to hide it for so long, but they can no longer do that. They're telling you guys, listen, there's aliens here. There's different species here. We tried to hide this for so long. The Most High God allowed them to hide it for so long. They kept a veil over your eyes for so long. But they're telling you now, we're not hiding no more. We're devil worshipers. Okay? We're a part of secret occults and secret societies. We're reptilians. We're demons. We're witches. We're warlocks. The veil is about to break. The veil is about to pop. We're not hiding it anymore. Prepare yourself. Choose your side. Because you're not going to be able to serve two masters anymore. Matter of fact, you were never able to serve two masters. But now you're going to really have to pick a side. Either you're going to serve God or you're going to serve the devil. Okay? That's, that's, that's your choice. But everything that's going on in the world right now, they're doing this shit on purpose. They're doing it on purpose because they're going to push the chosen ones in the forefront. Back in ancient Kemet, there was no such thing as a veil. You had reptilians, you had demons, you had witches and warlocks. You had all those type of people walking around. Good witches, bad witches, wizards, warlocks. That You had all of these different people walking around doing ancient Kemet because there was different planets. Some people were from Saturn, Pluto, Mercury, Uranus. Mar the Chosen Ones are, are originally from Mars. Um, Mars used to look like uh, Earth. It was a lot more cleaner. It was a lot more pollution free. But we were invaded by different entities from different planets. Back during ancient Kemet, there was no such thing as a veil. We walked around different um, um entities. If you go back and you look at ancient Kemet artifacts, if you go back and you look at ancient Kemet's wall paintings, you will see all type of different entities on those wall paintings. Serpent, walking, walking reptilians, um, birds, you know, giants, and you know that's why they took the Book of Enoch out of the Bible. The, 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 the government is telling you for a reason. They're telling you about UFOs not to distract you from inflation and food prices. They're trying to tell you, like, listen, we can't hide this anymore. You, you need to prepare. You need to prepare for food shortages. You need to stock up on food, beans, rice. Stop. Who cares? Quit, quit trying to keep up with the Joneses. Quit wearing a mask. Quit trying to act like you bet everybody having it hard right now. Even people that people that's making six figures is having it hard right now. Let me shut the fuck up. I'm getting off this camera. So keep attacking me. Okay? Keep attacking me. Keep attacking other chosen ones. Because you're not doing nothing but helping prepare our table. You're not doing nothing but helping us become the leaders that we truly are. To lead this world. To lead these countries. To lead these nations. Alright? And to the people that keep shadow banning me and flagging my videos... Thank you. Thank you for the spiritual warfare. Thank you for the black magic. Thank you for the spell work because the most high God got something real special for me. And he got something real special for the chosen ones because my work has not gone unnoticed. And that's why I keep coming back. Because of, because of my true subscribers. And I don't got many because majority of my subscribers are trolls and bots that are jealous, secretly jealous of me. They're under fake accounts that want me to give you information. This is all, this, what I just told y'all is free game. This is free game. I really should be charging for this information. 
And eventually I will. Possibly somewhere else or on a different platform. But this is free game. You motherfuckers want to use my psychic ability. You want me to get paid chump change. You want to use my, you want to take my information and put it in a book or put it in a movie or put it here or put it there. You want to, I should, I, my, I, this is a, a million dollars worth of game right here. That a lot of you, let's talk about the truth. A lot of you motherfuckers is not even going to apply it to your life. You're not going to listen to me. You're going to keep listening to the motherfuckers that you work in cahoots with. Good. I don't give a fuck. You think I give a fuck? Cause I'm prepared. You get prepared. That's okay though. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to say it again what I said in the community tab. Thank you for the spiritual warfare. Thank you for the black magic. Thank you for stealing my revenue. Thank you for working in cahoots to ruin and sabotage me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Because God is making my enemies be my footstool. He's preparing my table just like he's preparing the other chosen ones and his other children. And I'm going to be blessed beyond measure, beyond measures because of it, because I stayed true to the most high God, because I didn't give up, because give up, because I didn't stop moving forward. I'm blessed. I'm blessed even through what I, what I have to go through. And the sad part is y'all attack people not knowing what they go through behind the scenes. Just because I come on here and I smell whether I show my face or not, you don't know what people go through, but God always keep me. You guys are going to pay for attacking one of his true servants, his, his daughter, his children. His chosen ones. Hurting not my chosen one. Hurting not my anointed. I got the golden ticket. The other chosen ones got the golden ticket. Like Charlie, Willy Wonka in the Chocolate Factory. I got the golden ticket. You better work on getting you a golden ticket. Because it's a few more left. It ain't that many. And a lot of y'all didn't already forfeited your destiny. You're not going to get another golden ticket to next lifetime. You got to work real hard to get one. But I, you know what the most high God is telling me? I'm hearing it really ain't no more golden. I mean, it may be one or two more golden tickets left. Probably none at all. Ain't none of y'all getting on the train. Ain't none of y'all getting on the boat. Ain't none of y'all going to be on the, on the flight. You're going to be left the fuck behind. And I would hate to be left behind by the government and left behind by, by God when the rapture happens. Y'all better get y'all motherfucking shit together. It's going to be some stuff you're going to see that's going to make it hard to smell. I'm gone. I got to go. I didn't ran my mouth way too much peace i love y'all like subscribe and share peace